up, we are here at Woodridge High School mm -hmm. where students are coming in to check out the solar eclipse. There you go. These students have been given glasses. We're having some connection problems, so bear with us. Uh, we've got kind of poor reception in this area. But as you can see, students coming in and watching the eclipse today. They've got their glasses in hand. Some schools have opted out of actually participating in viewing the solar eclipse. Uh, some have cited possible liability issues. Obviously, you have to have these glasses on. Uh, you want to be safe and make sure that your eyesight is, is taken care of. <laughs> have you checked it out yet with your glasses? Oh, yeah, I've checked out, yeah. Cool? So this is a pretty cool experience uh, to be a kid and to actually view it because, you know. I'm a kid. I think the peak peak time uh, over in our area in the Akron Canton area uh, here at Woodridge High School is around 2.30. So that's why the kids are making their way through right now. Once again, we are having um, connection 234. issues. 2.34. 2.34 is the actual time. And we're about, what, 80% yeah. totality? We do have glasses, so we are being safe. And we also <laughs> ventured out and uh, did our own craft, which, by the way, this works. In case you have one of these and you tried it, Carl's going to demonstrate it for us right now. I hope you can see inside of there. I'll try and see the little dot in there. See that, guys? Look at that. It's pretty cool. It's uh, not obviously very colorful, but... This box was full when she got it. I had to empty it. <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's a little rough without milk. Wanted to take the time to talk to Carl a little bit because yeah. he's our nature guy. He's our outdoors oh, yeah. guy. And um, you had a chance to kind of obviously view it. And I noticed mm -hmm. that you were... You oh, had it's that cool. <laughs> it's so cool. If... If you can't look at this and just smile, that's all you got to do. Just to the awe factor here, you know, it, it puts you in your place in the universe. It really does. And there are a lot of things greater than us, and the eclipse is one of them. It's awesome. And the other thing we noticed when we were not here, I don't know if Manny told you, but everything got quiet. Very quiet. The birds stopped chirping. The... Uh, the bugs stopped buzzing around and it just got really, really quiet and it's getting darker and darker and I think pretty soon we're approaching our, not totality, but 80%. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go take some pictures of the kids. Yeah, as and they, I'll uh, show you what the kids are doing. Yep. Yeah, some schools have opted out once again, as I mentioned, um, liability issues, but here at Woodridge High School, they have decided to move forward with it. I did, I saw it. Uh, How was it? It was pretty neat. Yeah? Oh, oh, Are you looking yeah. at it again? Okay, that's so cool. Once again, guys, sorry for the in and out that you're uh, dealing with right now because it is our some of our internet uh, connection here is not so great 
I'm gonna try to get up close with these kids. Hopefully I won't lose ya. We're gonna see how they feel about the solar eclipse. Have you guys tried it yet? Yes. What can you see? Oh yeah. I can't see anything else except for the sun. Is it cool? Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> How was it? Um, fine. Yeah? <laughs> I like the news. Oops. Did you guys enjoy it? Yes? It's already getting a, a little darker than it was originally. I think this is a pretty cool experience for the kids to have. How was it, guys? What? How was it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Were you taking pictures on your phone? Yeah. Did you get any good, good no, pictures? Not, or no. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> it's because of the phone, not yeah. you. Trust me. <laughs> Teacher at Woodridge? Yeah. This is Channel 3 News. We're live right now. How is it cool? Is it cool for the kids to get this kind of experience? It's super cool. It's a great science experiment. Yeah. Well, <laughs> of course. Um, what do they learn from something like this? Um, what kind of science teacher? Sure. Sure. I'm with Channel 3 News. We got a science teacher here or somebody that can shed some light. Or somebody could, that can talk about the impact of these kids watching solar eclipse. Uh, well, the two science teachers, you know. They're probably up front. Yeah, there's some science teachers up front. Okay, thank you. I'm trying to get some science teachers to talk to us about how cool this experience is for kids. I keep saying cool, but it really is. You have to experience it. I can't really, can't really explain it. Pretty good view here. Hi there. I'm with Channel 3 News. I noticed your contraption. Carl, how's it going? It's hot out here. It is hot. It's so quiet. Are we at the peak yet? No, we've still got a few minutes for the peak on this area. Carl's putting on his glasses. I hear 
one of the students say it looks like a piece of cantaloupe. <laughs> Very descriptive. Let's see. It looks like a cantaloupe? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? Listen, we're always using descriptive words, so this is perfect. You got to put the image in people's heads, you know? I think it looks like a cantaloupe. How was it? Is it cool to actually get a chance to, to see it? <laughs> yeah, it's super cool. What's it like to have your school get involved in something like this and be able to come out during the school day? Um, I think it's really cool because some schools just stay inside and like watch it online. So I think it's really cool that we're all coming together and being out. Once again, if you're just joining us, this is Woodridge High School getting a chance to view the solar eclipse glasses given out uh, to kids to participate. Some schools have opted out of doing this, but Woodridge High School has decided to do um, to get the kids involved. You know, it's history. It's a, it's a good chance to view something like this happening.